everybody welcome back to my channel right today I've got another square pattern to show you I'm loving these patterns at the moment um, I've listed one early which is very popular and what I love about these sort of designs is that uh, when you join them up they look absolutely amazing you can carry on with a blankie like this if you want to but like I said in the other tutorial as you go wider There'll be a lot more space and all you'll end up with is just four lines going to the corner of the four patterns going to the corner of the blanket so and it'll be quite um sparse with color in the middle so but these are great for uh squares now i've i've stopped here on this one this is only three rows but if you want to go up again you can do that as well to make it a bit more larger so I'll show you how to make this. It's very similar to the one that I've shown you. I've just used two colours. I've got a light pale gold here and a cream. Now, with your colouring, if you go for the darker colour in the middle, that's going to show up a lot better. That's just my opinion. You can switch it around, start light in the middle and then keep these areas dark. It's up to you. You can experiment a little bit. But I've made a few of these and... Um, I prefer the darker colour to run through the centre and then outwards. Okay, so you'll need DK yarn, lightweight yarn number three and a four millimetre crochet hook. You'll also need some scissors and a needle. Where's my needle? For your ends. Okay, and this is the back and what we're doing is dragging the colour all the way through. So you don't really see it. So pick two colours of your choice. And have a little go with this one this one is just as cute so i've made one i'm going to show you another one then i'll put them together to show you how the pattern would look should you be making squares and attaching them to make a bigger piece like a blanket right so i'll get my center color here like i said lightweight yarn number three of course you can make this in any yarn and any hook if you're making any baby blankets or throws um you know just remember by weight the yarn's weight um you know it, it will get heavier so it's entirely up to you right the first thing you need to do is make a magic loop i have got a separate video listed for you for that if you don't know how to do that and of course it's all double crochet so if you're familiar with the double crochet we're good to go if not go and check out both of my videos um or explain it in more detail practice them and then come back and um, you can also slow me down in options and you can put subtitles on right let's get informations out the way so do your slip uh, sorry magic circle like so this is how I do mine and I put that to the back put my hook under and I just pinch my pinch my work there so I know that will be my tail to tighten and that's my working yarn just make the uh, loop a bit smaller and the first thing you want to do is three uh, three chains one two and three that will cast 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 class as your first double crochet you want to i'll show you how to do the double crochet for the first cluster very slowly and then i'll carry on at my normal pace so so to do a double crochet yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two that's two that first one will count class as one okay let me just put the camera up a little bit because i can't actually see what i'm doing just a little bit okay that's better right i can always bring it up if i need to so yarn over go into the loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two that's your three double crochets chain two which will be your corner and then do another set of three one two and three chain two another three double crochets one two and three we need four of these in total for the four sides so we have three chain two yarn's going crazy okay and then we've got three more double crochets one two and three 
Now we've chained two between every corner, but on my very last one, I just like to chain one because I don't like the, uh, the hole tends to be a little bit more bigger than how I like it. So going to the top of the chain three here. Yeah. And pull your, do slip stitch, sorry. So now we're going to add our yarn and this is how I do it. If you have your own method, you go with that, grab your color, your lighter color in my case. So we've put, we could, the reason why we've done it this way is because we are going to be working, holding the yarn as we're changing colors. So we need it to go up and both of them need to run along the side. So grab your new color and then pull that through as well. So just tighten the other color. You might need to just hold on to a few things just for the first one. So once you've done that, chain three. That will class as your first double crochet. Now, you can leave this one. You're going to be carrying the colour. So just put it to the front so you don't lose it. And then go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. And then into the third one. Double crochet. But don't complete it because we're going to now change the colour. So when you've got the two loops, drop the cream, in my case, and pick up your other colour. Now we'll be taking this with us, okay? Then go into the space and do a corner. And a corner is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in the new colour. Well, the centre colour. That's three. Chain two. And three double crochets. But when we're changing colours, we don't complete the last one. So we pull it through twice, and then we hold it. Grab the lighter one, and pull that through. Now we have these three double crochets. We're going to put one double crochet on top of each of these. When you get to your third, just hold it. Change your colour again because we're in the corner. All the corners are going to be in the middle colour. Carry your cream through. And the corner is three double crochets. Chain two, uh, three double crochets. Also, just on another note, you can see this little twist going on. Always try and keep these. If you find, because you might, you, that it will happen. Just grab your ball and make sure that they're not, um, you know, in a twist because you will get yourself in a jumble. So I've got two double crochets here. This is my third one. Chain two and another three, but don't complete the third one. That's two and then just three. Don't complete it. Leave the two loops on there. Grab your lighter colour, pull that through. Now we're going to be taking this one along. Do your three double crochets on top of the three double crochets. Don't complete the third one. There's only three here at the moment. It does get bigger as the sides get bigger. Grab your other colour. Pull that through. Keep holding your this one. And then in the corner, it's three double crochets. chain two and three double crochets do not complete the third one like so <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> grab your other color keep this one running <clears throat> excuse me do your three double crochets on top of your three double crochets. Don't complete the last one. Change your colour again. And we're at the last corner now. But remember to hold this one still. I always like holding it at the front so I know I'm going over it. So three double crochets. 
chain two three double crochets okay so what I do now is I'll just leave that to the back at the moment so I'll slip stitch on top of the third chain which is here and I'll slip stitch with that same color yarn for now okay because it just looks a bit more neater then I grab my cream and also pull that through so both colors have come up now on top of here on the three uh, colors we're doing three double crochets make sure to give this this one a bit of a tug okay so it's nice and tight three double crochets on top of there make sure you're holding that color through and then carry on along for the next three double crochets until you get to the corner and don't complete now we're in the corner so grab your corner color make sure you're holding that one as well and do your three double crochets chain two and three double crochets for the corner You may think it's a bit complicated with all this color changing going on but so long as you hold the yarn because there's no point cutting the yarn because if we cut the yarn there's just way too many uh, strands to tie in and like I said you can't really see it from the back anyway right so you're on your third now what we're going to do is how we only did the three here it's going to be these three these three and these three so it'll be nine across in this color Okay, so grab the colour to change over. Bear with me, it's a bit tricky doing this through the camera. Okay, and then do your three double crochets. One, two and three. The three on top of them, th uh, those three. One, two and three. All the while holding this colour as you're going across. You can give it a little bit of a tug, not too much to warp the wet, but just to tighten it up and pull it through. Then you've got these three going to there, same colour. One, two, and when you get to your third one, hold it and grab your other colour. Then go into the corner. And do your corner which is three double crochets chain two three double crochet when you get to your third one drop that color and pick that one up bring that one to the front and then do your nine double crochets in this color you will see once you've done by the time you get to this row you'll see the pattern emerging and like i said you can continue if you want to continue and do one more row if you want slightly bigger squares but i actually think this is a nice size you can do them all the same color or you can mix it up a bit exactly however you like it so when you get to that one we're in the corner now to do a corner so grab your corner color And do three double crochets chain two and three double crochets when you get to your third one there's two there's my third just hold it grab the cream always give your work a little bit don't pull but just make it nice and tidy so it's not loose the stitches aren't loose and do your nine double crochets across two three four all the while remember taking this with you so can you see this little twist happening 
so it just quickly just unravel it we're nearly there anyway but if you do get yourself in a pickle it's best just to split them up When you've done your nine, three, six, and nine, hold your last one, and for the final time, change your color and do your three double crochets. Chain two, and three double crochets. Don't complete the third because we started from here so we've got three more double crochets to do in that colour. So grab that colour. And you can leave this one now just at the back if you want to. And do your three. And just slip stitch to the top of that chain. One, two, and three. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So cut both of these. You can cut the other colour as well. Chain one. Cut your yarn. And on this one, where is it? You can see this. I made a knot on there. I actually weave this one in, weave the, uh, weaved it, this end one going across, which I'll show you in a minute. But I'm just showing you there's different methods. That's done with a needle and I just weaved it in and made a knot on the back of the magic loop. Keep the work nice and tight and secure. And um, here it's just the two of the yarns with three knots. So it's entirely up to you. Um, but I will show you, and these ones here, where you've changed the colour, I think it's just this one here really. What you can do is, there's a couple of things you can do really, because the thing is it's, it's the, um, you've got to stay within your colour boundaries otherwise it will show on the other side. So just grab a needle like I said, probably would be easier. Oh dear, go in. And just a couple of times, you know. The centre one you always have to do. Because if we'd made a chain of four and then worked into the chain, then you don't need to. But if it's a magic circle, once you've given it the tug, then all you need to do is just a knot. A couple of knots, should I say. One. And two. Give it a good squeeze. One here. It's only four. If you if you'd cut the yarn and you'd so when you get to here, I would just work up the double crochet and down the double crochet. It's all you need to do. It's not going to come undone. Rather than go up across or anything. And I have one more, which is this one. And that's it. This is how you do your squares. Like I said, you can go one row higher if you want to, one round. Make it a bit bigger. I mean, these are great if you've got scrap yarn as well and you want to make a multicoloured one as well. And here we are. So, 
So what will happen? So I'll just bring this up a bit. That's how they will look. And then what happens is I've only made the two. So you just got to use your imagination. When you put the other two here, these four corners will join up here and vice versa. And then when you're joining up this way, you'll get this lovely design here as well. And all the ends, so the ends, all the ends will look like this. And all the corners will look like that. And then you'll have this running through. I think it's really pretty. Now, you're probably thinking, oh God, well, when I join the squares, I mean, they're different colours. Do I use a different colour yarn here and a different colour yarn here? Um, I think the best thing to do is, what you could do actually, which I didn't think of, is, um, you know, if you're skilled enough, you can do that. Or otherwise, you could pick this outer colour, either this one or that one, and just do a single crochet row around the side. You're probably thinking it defeats the object of them being together like that. But when you look from afar, the pattern still runs through. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, this is a smaller square for you. Hope you like this tutorial as well. Please do subscribe, like and share. I can see on my YouTube that... Lots of people are liking what I uh, what I am showing them. And um, yeah, and long may it continue. I enjoy what I'm doing and um, hopefully I'll be here for a while. So go ahead and try this one, the mini one. It's really cute. That's how that will work. Brilliant. Okay, guys, take care and I'll see you soon.